Hello everyone and welcome back to another MRC chess game by Gary Kasparov who is playing with the white pieces and his opponent is John Fedorovitz who is playing with the black pieces, strong American chess player so a chess game from 1981 before Gary Kasparov became the world chess champion by defeating Anatoly Karpov so Kasparov starts the game with pushing to the pawn knight to f6, c4, e3, knight to f3 b6, a3, so we have queen's Indian defense, Petrosian variation, d5, developing the bishop, and is this a pawn sacrifice by Gary Kasparov? g6, not capturing the pawn, because if capturing the pawn can you see what happens? Then checking the king, and if defending the knight, capturing the rook, and this is all over for black, so this is why e take, c takes on d5, and g6 knight to c3, bishop to g7, g3 and black castled, bishop to g2, d6, Kasparov also castled, centralizing the rooks and defending the e-pawn, developing the queen, bishop up, knight to h5, bishop goes back, knight to d7, attacking the bishop and swinging the queen to h4, and the queen is looking pretty aggressive, so black pushed the pawn, rook over, lining the rook with the queen and b5 b4 by Gary Kasparov of course black didn't want to give the open b file so offering to exchange the queens to Gary Kasparov Kasparov says no defending with the bishop bishop to g5 f6 bishop goes back and then f5 again insisting but Kasparov says no bishop to g5 defending the queen and then e4 charging at the center c takes a takes uh, on b4 and then attacking the knight it looks like this is attacking the knight with the rook uh, Gary Kasparov goes back attacking the queen defending the queen and again for the third time black is insisting black says let's get this over with and let's exchange the queens Kasparov says I don't want to exchange the queens bishop to g5 and is this going to be a draw by repetition? So maybe if bishop to e3, this is going to be a draw. Kasparov says, all or nothing. He sacrificed his knight. It looks like a blunder because we have rook takes on e1, rook takes on e1, and then bishop takes on c3. So black is a piece up, but Kasparov played rook to e7. Rook to c4, attacking the queen, so Gary Kasparov has the 7th uh, rank. And we have queen to h3, bishop goes back defending the knight. But the rook looks menacing on the 7th rank, as you can see, it looks dangerous. And in this position, actually going wrong is very easy. If knight to e5, can you see what is wrong with black's position? Then checking the king, and king goes down, and then f takes on g6 and if capturing the rook then checking the king and basically black is getting checkmated by force and there is no sensible defense interesting so we have bishop goes back and then f takes on g6 and you can see that white has lots of attacking prospects knight from d to f6 and this is a discover attack to the queen what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces can you see the best move for white? Uh, it looks like the queen is under attack. So, which move is the best move for white? Maybe defending the queen comes to mind, of course. Well, the move is bishop takes on f6. Unbelievable. Knight takes on f6, of course. I'm saying unbelievable because this is a very beautiful chess game by Gary Kasparov. If capturing the queen, then we have check mate so it is believable <laughs> because uh, that's a very obvious threat but it is just perfect bishop takes on f6 mega aggressive and then g takes on h7 by gary kasparov we have king to f8 uh, let's see what happens if king to h8 then queen to h6 and how to defend so king to f8 and then Gary Kasparov promoted the queen. And this is all over, of course. 
They played few more moves and Black resigned. So this is the final position. Uh, this is the final position and Black decided to resign. So let's check out the possible continuation. Blocking and then Queen to H5. Queen to G5 and then Queen to C1 and this is all over. Queen takes on C3. So basically White has the Queen and Black is losing. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed watching this chess game and I hope to see you next time with more interactive chess games. So take care, stay safe and bye bye.